Yo, yo, YouTube, what's good? It's Nile Waves. We back at it with another video. We got that two mistakes that I see producers make the most with their 808s. This is about to be short, simple, quick, and easy, all right? You should be able to apply this as soon as you finish watching this video and get on your FL Studio. This is really a beginner um, video for those, those guys who are new and who haven't been producing that long. But listen, I see producers that have been producing for years still make some of these mistakes. So I'm about to go over it real quick, show y'all what y'all need to do. And you know, we, we gonna elevate, we gonna get better. Before we do that, before we start, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share, do all that good stuff, and we're gonna get right into it. And also, if you didn't download it, make sure you download the four steps to creating a placement ready beat. The link is in the description. All right, let's get to this video. All right, this is mistake number one. Mistake number one that I see a lot of times is guys, you've got to make sure that your 808 is on key. Very, very important. Okay. This is probably the number one mistake I see by, you know, beat makers who are just starting or in the beginning stages. They don't know how to get their 808 in key. So, first of all, if you have a loop, right? Sometimes guys will put their put the key of the loop in there and that could give you a clue to what the bass notes are and other times they don't so we're just going to act like it doesn't say d minor right there right we're going to take this this 808 pattern we're going to bring it up you should always be listening to hear if you could say if if you can hear the beat right hear the 808 go exactly with the the melody on its lowest notes Dun. you hear that so it should sound just the 808 should be on that note not that not that not that you hear how it's lined up with the bass note so now we can bring it back down and it sounds like this right so we need to make sure that we always have our 808s on key. That's the first mistake I see. And that is just one of the ways that you can find the key. But honestly, guys, you, everybody is asking for tips and tricks about, oh, how do you find the key? The more you make music, the more you're going to be able to find the key easily. For me, it's like second nature. I know exactly, okay, how to find the key. This is something that comes with experience. But come on, if you want to get to the next level, this is something that you've got to know how to do. Find the key of a... Of a um of a melody and line your 808 up with that so that you can have it sounding good because if it's not on key it's not going to sound good and nobody's going to want to use your beat all right even though some people do end up you know some of those beats do slip through the cracks but we're not here for that we're here to be the great we're here to be the best all right so that's getting your 808 on key that's the first mistake and that is how you fix it you know you play around with the notes and you make sure it's lining up with that bass note of the melody. So mistake number two. Mistake number two is not properly mixing our 808. What do I mean by that? Well, when we have an 808, first of all, we always need to make sure that we press cut itself. Okay, that's the first thing. And the second thing is, you know, to make it hit harder, there are a few things you can do. Now, one of those is you can put your 808 into a channel, right? Put an EQ on it put the four up a little bit so let me show you what that sounds like makes it sound a little bit brighter right that's one of the things we do next thing we do is we turn up the 808 don't be af don't be afraid to turn your 808 up turn that john up right the next thing we can do is we can come over here if you're in fl20 and you press this EQ and you bring this up. So now that is really hitting harder, right? Now, another thing a lot of guys like to do is they like to shorten the 808 up. This is real popular right now to shorten the 808. So you just bring this out button, you just bring it like this. Now it's shorter. saying oh but your your 808 it's not it's it's like what do you call it it's peaking it's peaking it's red well that's why we come over here to the master come over here to the master channel 
right? Let me play it with let me play it with all the hi hats and the perks and everything, so you see what it sounds like. You're probably like, oh, it's not really hitting like that. Like the 808 is loud, but it's not really hitting. Well, to make it hit, make sure you come over here and put fruity soft clipper on the master. That's it. That's it. That's all you got to put on the master. That's all you have to put on the master. You don't have to put anything else on the master except for fruity soft clipper. And sometimes I'll put a little EQ. So I'll come over here to the four, bring that up a little bit, just a little bit. You feel me? I'll bring that up just, just a tad bit. Come over to six, turn that up a little bit. Turn, come over to seven, turn that up a little bit. You feel me? But after that. That's it. That's all you got to do. It's very simple. 808s is very simple. And of course, we're using the spins 808. So anybody that wants to ask me what 808 is that, DY 808, it says that, but it's just the spins 808. You could do exactly what I did with a spins 808. It's in every single trap, hip hop, um, southern trap, rap, whatever kit, whatever drum kit you got, <coughs> Reddit, right? Whatever drum kits you got. I'm sure the spins 808 is probably in there, at least in one of them. So you can definitely do that with your 808. So that's the second thing, you know, making sure it sits right in the mix. And of course, you can see that the 808, yeah, it's louder than all the other instruments. That's fine. As long as, you know, you can still hear the other instruments and, they, and it's not overpower them to the point where you can't hear them and it's all um how do you say distorting the other instruments you don't want that okay but you do want it loud enough so that it's hitting like that so that's the second mistake and i just showed you how to fix it all right so that was the two mistakes that i see producers make the most with their 808s and how to fix them if you like this video if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button subscribe comment share do all that good stuff man we got 13k shout out to all the wave creators shout out to the people that's you know making this channel continue copping loop kits copping the you know the midi kits and going crazy with them i appreciate all y'all let's get to 20k we on that road and you know what i'm saying like we're gonna keep it going so once again make sure you download that uh producer guide the four steps to creating a placement ready beat if you haven't done that already and i'll see y'all next time peace